watching this video by um, up and coming um, elder uh, Amawan Gabar, uh, priest Amawan Gabar, brother Amawan Gabar from the main camp. He did this video entitled My Dream Last Night. We were preparing a major feast like event for High Priest Arya. So, <clears throat> this very well may be an omen to the returning of High Priest Arya. Um, that's the man that you see here on the left. The man on the right is High Priest, as his title was back then, High Priest, Elder High Priest Marsha. And um, wholeheartedly, beginning with Elder Pasita on down, we believe those two men will be coming back together again, will be united. You know, <clears throat> they really haven't been united since the split that happened way back in what, 19, was it 1990, what, 97, 96, 98, somewhere around there. <clears throat> There was a major split, and we tell you brothers about that, between King Marsha, which is the man on the right, and High Priest Arya, which is the man on the left. Now, in the spirit, we believe that the man on the right is uh, King David, and uh, that would make uh, High Priest Arya Joab, which uh, Joab was part of uh, King David's council. Um, also... Uh, Peter and John, you know, during the time of Yahweh Shai, Peter would be uh, King Marsha and John would be High Priest Arya. And, you know, if you believe and understand reincarnation and if you're spiritual, you can understand that. But to a lot of Israelites, that's simply meat. And if you're not spiritual, you cannot understand meat. You know, the scriptures speak about, matter of fact, let's go to it. You see, in this ministry, in this, in this thing of ours, like I like to say, you got meat and you got milk, and not every brother can deal with meat. You got <laughs> not every brother can, brother can deal with milk, much less meat. Let's read it, First Corinthians, the third chapter, the first verse. This is the words of uh, the Apostle Paul, and he's speaking to the Israelites in Corinth. Right? He says, "And I, brethren, could not speak unto you." as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Yahweh Shai. So when you first come in, <clears throat> when you first come in, you got to deal with the level of the carnal. Unless you're, the, you're an exceptional individual, you know, there are exceptions to the rule, you know, but the general rule is a guy first comes in, he, he hasn't developed a spiritual mind yet. You know, he's still thinking carnally. Now it takes, it takes time unless, you, like I said, you're exceptional and the Holy Spirit's really working with you because you're one of those special men that was back there in the past. You do have special men that were, you know, back in the past. Uh, unless you're one of those, then it takes a while for you to become, for you to develop a spiritual mindset. Okay, but there is two kinds of mindsets in this thing of ours. There's the carnal mindset and there's the spiritual mindset. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Yahweh Shai, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. So the carnal mindset deals with the milk. The spiritual mindset deals with the meat. And the meat is a lot stronger than the milk. Okay? And I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it. Just like you can't feed a baby meat. <laughs> the baby's going to choke and die, man. You got to feed the baby milk until the baby grows up and uh, has develops what, what is called teeth and is able to eat meat. Okay? So that takes time. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, meaning understand it. Neither yet now are ye able. All right, so... You know, going back to uh, dealing with reincarnation, which reincarnation is meat. It's not milk. It's meat. To understand reincarnation, which simply means back in the spirit, 
you know, or back, I'm sorry, back in the back in the flesh. The spirit goes back into the flesh. Um, that's reincarnation. Literally means back in the flesh. Uh, for you to understand that and how that works, you know, in pursuant to uh, Exodus 20 and 4, where the Lord said he visits the iniquity of the children unto the third and fourth generation. So that's reincarnation. That's that same spirit coming back through its family line. For you to understand those things, you have to be spiritual. You can't be carnal and understand that. You've got to be spiritual, man. And you can't make yourself spiritual. It's a gift. Once again, it's a gift. Just like faith is a gift, being spiritual is uh, constantly thinking spiritually and being spiritual is a gift. It's not given to every Israelite. <laughs> just, like, just like the gift of faith is not given to every Israelite. Why do you think the scriptures speak about the precious faith? <laughs> Let's get that. First Peter, what is that? First Peter 1 and 7. They are gifts. In this thing of ours. The, the Apostle Paul spoke about that. First Peter 1 and 7. That the trial of your faith. Being much more precious. Than of gold that perisheth. Now that. That. Or that term faith is a gift. Given by the Father. We're going to read this, that scripture next. That the trial of your faith. Because our faith is going to be tested. No doubt about it. Being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Though it be tried with fire, tested, another word for tried is tested. You know what the big test is going to come for our faith? The big test? That's the, the M-O-T-B. The M-O-T-B. That's the big test for our faith. You know, if we pass that test, man, then it's for sure. And we still hold our integrity. We still hold our integrity and we pass that test. That's for sure that we are a member of the elect. No doubt about it, man. Okay. Um, uh, much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. There you go. So right before Yahweh Shai appears, we're going to have to go, right before Yahweh Shai appears, we're going to have to go through the big test. What is the big test? The MOTB. And if you don't know what the MOTB is, the M R. I'm sorry, M-A-R-K-O-F-T-H-E-B-E-A-S-T, -E -E okay? Try not to say it so they don't block this video. Now, let's talk about faith. What is faith? Faith is a gift, all right? What proves that? Ephesians 2 and 8, uh, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith. This is the Apostle Paul speaking to the Israelites in Ephesus, which the, uh, the the church at Ephesus was massive. There was a massive church at Ephesus, okay? And the Apostle Paul presided over that church. Him right along with Timothy and other men that was under him. Uh, when you go into the history, that is. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Heavenly Father. See? So you can't, or we, I, I keep saying you, we can't give ourselves that gift. All right. And when it comes down to. When it comes down to the Israelites in this thing of ours, I don't care what group. All right. Um, you can't give yourself the gift of faith. That's a gift given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And either an Israelite has it or he doesn't have it. All right. You can't fake it. Either you have faith or you don't have faith. Now, we can do this. We can pray to the Lord to increase. Let's say we have little faith. We can pray to the Lord to increase our faith. Let me, let me show an example of that in the scripture. Because I think it was Peter who said that to Yahweh Shai. Okay. Bear with me for a minute. I know the word increase is in there. It better come up. Oh man, look at that. Um, yeah, it is right here. That's a good one. I'll take that one. Luke 17 and 5. And the apostles now, there's one where Peter actually said that, but 
this in this account it says the apostles so we'll go with that and the apostles said unto the lord increase our faith see so we can pray you know the lord is not with us uh physically like he was with the apostles back then at the time this was written right but he's with us spiritually he said lo i'm with you even to the end of the world so we can pray to Yahweh Shai to increase our faith. We could do that. Now the word pray means to beg. Because, if you know, this thing of ours is based upon faith, man. And faith, as I, as I told you, faith is a gift. All right. Um, Luke uh, 17 and 6. And the Lord said, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, and that's a very small seed. Ye might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Okay, so faith is, a, is extremely important. Now, uh, faith is one of the, the spiritual gifts that the Apostle Paul talked about. Spiritual gifts. Let's read about that. So we can pray for these things. All right. Spiritual gifts. And I believe one of them is faith. Uh, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Um, let's jump down to. The fourth verse, now they are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. That's the spirit of Yahweh, Barshim uh, Yahshai. Now, now it goes into it, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all, profit in the ministry, right? And we, we're those every men the scriptures is talking about. For to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. So these are the different gifts in this ministry. To another, faith by the same spirit. See, the gift of faith. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy, the gift of prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. The guy is able to read people's spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. That's different languages. To another interpretation of tongues. All right, so clearly you see here there's different gifts in this thing of ours, man. It's called spiritual gifts. All right, so basically what I want to say in this video is uh, these two men are going to come back and the dream that uh, come back together, that is, the dream that um, Amma Wan Gabar had, that was definitely a spiritual dream. I can see it happening. How it's gonna exactly how it's gonna happen, I cannot say. But I know these two men are gonna come back together and help lead our nation. These two men you see here, they were the back in the day, they were the top elders of the nation of Israel. Let me say that again. These two men that you see here, they were the top elders, uh the top elders of our nation. As a matter of fact, when you read in the book of Revelation, these are the two candlesticks. Really, it was talking about these two men. But one of them is in the spirit world. But he's just sleeping. Soon to be awakened. All right? And the other one split from him. But that's easy. The Heavenly Father split them apart. The Heavenly Father can bring them together again. You know? And, I, and that, is, that is exactly what's happened. That what's going to happen. The Heavenly Father is going to bring them back together again. And that's why Alma Wan Gabar had that dream. All right, so pretty much that's it. That's, you know, uh, like Elder Apostle Tar uh, coined this year, the year of the turn up, man. Everything is turning up, man. We, we, everything is, is, is coming down to the wire, you know. Everything is being finalized. You know, more and more we're talking about these men. That's not by coincidence. For many years, we really didn't talk about these men. We'd, measure, we'd, we'd uh, mention them casually every now and then to keep their works alive. But as of late, we've been talking about these men a lot. We've been talking about high priest, elder high priest Yaikwab a lot. 
which I got some videos I got to I got a show of Elder High Priest Yaiqua. We've been talking about Elder High Priest Arya a lot. We've been talking about Rabbi Abba Bivens a lot. We've been putting up videos of these men. That's not by coincidence, brothers. That's an omen. That's a sign of things to come. Because these men, they're, they're, they are a permanent part of this thing of ours. And their works do follow them. Okay, so look forward. That's part of prophecy. We're always talking about prophecy, right? Look forward to seeing these two men come together. That's part of prophecy too. Okay? Alright, so with that, on to the next one.